Right, 9 April 2024, and today I am, as usual, excited to present to you the top stories uh, that are happening around Zimbabwe, and we're going to be looking at political stories, business stories, Africa stories, and a lot of community stories. So today I want to spend a bit of time on what is happening with the currency and what you should expect in the next few days and then in the next few months so the transition to the zig has now started and changes have happened in the zimbabwe economy yesterday massive changes and the zig is going to be coming into effect so what you should realize is that uh, there will be a lot of things happening this week starting today and then Within the next month, there will be massive developments. If you work in the banking sector, you are in a very big danger of losing your job. And if you are dealing with foreign currencies, you are going to face a lot of changes. So let's start with people working in the banking sector. Uh, the banking sector in Zimbabwe is not profitable. Uh, I was working in the banking sector myself, and the margins are very thin. Uh, so it's very difficult to get money in Zimbabwe banking. There is a lot of competition. So most banks in Zimbabwe are not profitable. They are actually involved in illegal activities, such as money changing or overcharging clients or engaging in some other forms of illicit activities. So with the coming of the ZIG, most banks have refused to move to the new ZIG. So they've changed the balances or they've said that they're going to change the balances, but most banks are not transacting. They've refused to make that transition. And yesterday, Mnangagwa sent out security uh, services. He also sent out financial intelligence unit to both banks and also to retailers to try to force them to use the ZIG. Uh, and when I talk about using the ZIG, I'm talking about accepting the current Zimbabwe dollar notes so that they can be banked into the, uh, the banks and then eventually they go back uh, as zig and uh, this has been a problem people can't transact but the biggest change is coming to the banks the banks in zimbabwe like banks everywhere uh, they are con men <laughs> basically that's all i can say uh, banks are con men and zimbabweans uh, have got the problem that the reserve bank of zimbabwe is also part of the problem so the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, as I've been saying over the past years, is the biggest problem. And what Mishawa needs to do is to internally deal with the issues at the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. And what we as Zimbabweans need to do is we need to say our money must not be touched. So the money must, not, must be separated from the politics and the politicians. So there's nothing wrong with money doing well in Zimbabwe. So I, I prefer the United States dollar but I know that's not what is there. What is there is that the Zimbabwe government is putting the zig. So what I would suggest to them, the measures that I would suggest to them, is first and foremost, clean out the corruption in the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. Fire everyone who is involved in corruption. Internally fix the processes and make sure that the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe is a respectable institution. Right now, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe is the center of black market so the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe is the center of the black market. So we don't want that uh, to become a, <laughs> a, the center of the black market. The Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe must be where people who are professionals work. Kutanga Kunana deputy governors, going down to the head of departments, senior managers, going down to uh, surveillance, uh, audit, uh, people that are involved in distribution of cash and bank supervision. Currently, these people are complicit in what is happening that is why banks are refusing to use the zinc uh, they hope that this situation will continue so once you fix the internal systems in the reserve bank of zimbabwe you now need to go and clean up the banks we need to close down all those non-functional banks uh, like women's bank uh, youth employment bank all those banks i've said it here remove all the weak banks from the system uh, to Nana POSB, to my bank to Surukushanda, close those banks. And then in terms of cash, make sure Kuti, there is no cash withdrawal inside the bank. 
So in South Africa, you can no longer withdraw cash in the bank. You only withdraw cash at the ATM if you're a consumer. Only bulk withdrawals and bulk deposits are done inside the bank. So there's no reason for a person to withdraw $100 inside the bank. So you, you must force or the Reserve Bank must enforce Kuti. Every transaction to do with cash must be done on the ATM. And you will see everything will be suddenly okay. Eco cash must not be allowed to hold balances. So they must not be allowed to hold balances. I've said this in the past. Econet account must only be used. Eco cash account must only be used for sending and receiving. They should not be allowed to have a balance, you know, garaimo eco cash and transact and buy a time and all that. That should not be allowed. In South Africa, there's no such a thing where you have money that sits inside a wallet. That should not be allowed. Once you do that, your money starts having value. And Mushayavan, you must take advice. So, uh, we don't hurt Mushayavan. We don't hurt the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. What Fadzai Mahir is saying, she does not hurt the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. Take the advice from people, even people that you don't like. <laughs> Take the advice uh, of those people. Don't try to close Gambako's channel. Yeah, so uh, I see, Kuti, your guys have been trying to close my channel. So stop it. And don't try to, 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 to do all these things uh, that you're doing. Listen very, very carefully. Uh, that is very important. Uh, that the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe behaves in an ethical manner under the new Reserve Bank of uh, Zimbabwe uh, governor. Uyu Akabawi. Uh, Mangunja was a problem. We told him long back. I've been telling Mangunja for a long time here on this channel to fix the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe and to also fix uh, things like the websites, uh, the platforms, these things, the, the monetary policy statements, hold regular uh, press conferences. Reserve Bank. Mujifoni Ravana Gambako, Mujiva Daid Zamoti, where I Reserve Bank and Toshika Tichi Garepa, Potichi Terera Zamuru Tower. To my, my ideas, uh, something that I've offered to do in the past when I was in Zimbabwe. So, if the Reserve Bank does what I'm saying now, we will separate our politics from the money. That is essential, and we want our money in Zimbabwe to do well. But the steps that I've outlined here clean up inside the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, clean up the banks, remove eco cash as a transaction mechanism, and make sure Kuti. Cash, you know, withdrawal only in the ATM. Force all those big banks that have been making massive profits. Kuti mari ibude mu ATM chete. There's no one who open a bank who withdraw cash. And then put US dollar ATMs and make people charge $4 for every $100 withdrawn. Those banks, Van Marukuyam, Zimbabwe, they must leave money inside the, uh, the country. At the moment, everyone is flying to Victoria Falls because the road is quiet. Uh, let me show you what has happened in Victoria Falls. Uh, the road at Victoria Falls has collapsed. It has been washed away. And, and Barbara was talking about it yesterday. I want to show you Barbara talking about it. Uh, Mnangagwa cannot fix roads. And when I talk here, Mnangagwa must not be angry at me. He must fix. So uh, Uyusako and Barbara yesterday were talking. Tourists cannot travel from Blawayo to Victoria Falls. The road has been washed away. So look at what they said here, and then let's take it from there. We are working on a short-term solution, which is patching the portals from Bulawayo to Victoria Falls. So far, we have done about 160 kilometers. People want to come from other parts of the country. To, for them, when they get to Bulawayo and from Bulawayo to Victoria Falls, it's a problem. But it's a problem that will be solved in the near future. Right. So as you can see, the whole system has collapsed. So the guys in the Zimbabwe government must understand what I'm saying. The whole system has collapsed. And this starts at the level of where you get money. So you need inflows of foreign currency. That will balance your, your money. Your money will become strong if you've got inflows. At the moment, there's no inflows of currency because of poor politics, which is making people stay away from your country. Then poor processes and poor assets. For example, your tourism assets are poor. People cannot come to Zimbabwe. If you come to Cape Town, the money that you use in Cape Town is less than the money used in Zimbabwe. People are flying from Zimbabwe to come into Cape Town for holiday. They're not going to Victoria Falls. Because here we've got an ocean, we've got the beaches and so forth. Although 
uh, Victoria Falls is much nearer. So Munano Kosa in the family yake. The assets are poor. Uh, prices are too high. And getting there is a job. So fix these things that I'm talking about. Then fix the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. Fix the banks. Make sure that crime is not allowed in the banking sector. Right now, all the banks are involved in criminal activities. They're charging high fees. They're transacting on the black market. And the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, Munaruku Farmer, Pinda, Sekutaru Pinda, Bathroom Yake, Achitora Mari, Achibuda. That must not happen. Fix this thing. And the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe will do very, very well uh, under Mshayawan. And listen to the people that I am, um, uh, to the things that I'm saying here, and the things that other people are suggesting. All those people that you think are critics, actually, the, the good for you, and are the good people for you. And as I said, stop trying to close my channel, but stop it right now. I don't want to see it again. Zamani Zuro, to try to close my channel. Stop it immediately. And Mnangagwa must know Kutiwa Nawake, Varuza Mangovara, Chano Yangu. They must stop it. I, I, will, I cannot go back to what happened again in the past, uh, where we had to, to restart our channel from scratch. So stop that thing <laughs> right now. Now let's go to, to the stories. Uh, what is happening in the news? I have a, a number of uh, news stories here uh, that we want to deal with. Uh, we want to start with uh, some very important local news. And I, I, I want to start with the pictures. So the most important story that we have is that Nelson Chamisa has started a news channel, uh, and this news channel is going to be providing information about anything to do with Chamisa. So you can go to his Twitter, and you click over here, you'll be able to find uh, the news channel of Chamisa. I've joined there, and I've followed the news channel of Chamisa. Uh, Chibaya and 25 CCC members have appeared in court, in court for chanting slogans in Udiriro. So... Their lawyer is saying chanting slogans is not a crime, and also no one reported them. So the police just arrived and arrested Chibaya and 25 CCC members, so they're in court. And I think that is something that I'm talking about. Zoguti, Zimbabwe government must stop being a political, a political problem. Uh, right now, Joachim Chisano is in Zimbabwe. They're trying to deal with the debt crisis. But we are having all these things that are happening with the police. Train the, pro the police properly so that they don't arrest opposition members for having a meeting. Then NASA has stopped all payments to pensioners as they move to the new uh, ZIG, and they're going to be restarting payments on the 17th of April. And as I said, the ZIG is coming, guys. So listen to me very carefully. The ZIG is not going to stop. It's going to come. But what I'm saying to Mshayavan is pensioner must not get cash at NASA. Pensioner, I don't know if i to ATM. So all the banks must be forced to buy ATMs that dispense cash. And cash deposit must now be at the ATM so that it is a black market. We don't want the black market. We want our currency to do well. Uh, and then uh, another big story is the death of three soldiers in the DRC. Sadak has lost three soldiers who were bombed uh, yesterday, uh, three from Tanzania and one from South Africa. I will go and see this statement at Gambak. I'm going to put it over there uh, in the next few uh, minutes, maybe the next 20 minutes. I'll put that up there. Sadak has lost three soldiers, uh, sorry, four soldiers, three from Tanzania, one from South Africa, and three are currently in hospital. Then we have uh, another big story here. Uh, a businessman, Isaac Matkenika, is appearing in court for abusing his young sister, uh, the wife, the young sister of his wife. Uh, so if you know this business person, he is a well-known guy. He's in court for that. Then Ostalos was at the funeral of Stima, his father. Uh, young Ostalos is doing very, very well. Uh, he's, he's giving Chamisa a very good support. And Zinasu is doing very, very well. Uh, the young guys from Zinasu are doing well. They're very vibrant. And we, we are going to have a new culture. Uh, as I said, we need a new culture in our country. The new guys are the future of our country. And Zinasu must do very, very well. Similar to the guys at NAST. I, I like the SRC at NAST. They're doing very, very well. Then we have the story of uh, Jacob Zuma. Jacob Zuma will know today if he is going to be able to be South Africa president again. So the story of Jacob Zuma is very interesting. Uh, Jacob Zuma is likely to be the next South Africa president if he is allowed to be an MP today. So because he was pardoned, he, he went to prison. But he was pardoned by uh, we, we, um, President Ramaphosa. 
he is likely to be allowed to contest as an MP. So you most likely have uh, Jacob Zuma as president if his party uh, does well. So let's watch that. It's a very big international story to watch. Uh, then Uyo Tendai Biti is going to be having an interview with uh, Blessed Mshanga. So you can have a look at that. I don't know what time uh, they're going to have this meeting. And then I want to show you the father of uh, Yolanda, uh, the young lady who died yesterday. The one who was crushed by a building. The father has come out and spoken. So let's look at what the father said here. It's a very sad story. She was crushed when coming from school. So the building around CBD just collapsed. So let me show you what the father here said. This girl was coming from school. And I'm, I'm, from fact, I'm so devastated. The girl was just 19 years old. 19 years old. Can you imagine? I don't know any, any part of the building, even city center. I don't know how many engineers there are here in Harare. But how can you have that thing? A lean through without support. Right. So I think <laughs> we have covered everything that I wanted to cover today. Now let's quickly look and see if any of the newspapers have published. Uh, the news the newspaper has published. They are saying Kuti, government of Zimbabwe is doing a blitz. They're attacking everyone who's not using the Zig. So as I said, the Zig is going to come in. So prepare for the Zig. It's coming. It's not going to be stopped. But my suggestion and Dapa, those are important for Mushayavanu to listen to. And especially Mushayavanu must listen to the biggest people who are criticizing him. Uh, Father Zemayer has put out 11 suggestions for the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe to listen to. Uh, Mkoma Wangu Opo has also put out a lot of suggestions for what the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe needs to do. I have put out a lot of suggestions on what the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe needs to do. Like today, I've said to you, a Reserve Bank must make sure the cash is only dispensed from ATMs. No bank should be allowed to handle cash. So the zinc should, should, zinc should come out of the ATM, should be deposited and should be withdrawn only from the ATM. So when you introduce the zinc, it should not come from the banking hall. Uh, it should come from the ATM. Like in South Africa, you can't withdraw cash anymore. Except Karachi Benga, because my bank is refining, it's an African bank. But Karachi Benga Bank, like FMB, Standard Bank, uh, my bank's my Kura Nanet Bank. You can't touch cash uh, from a bank hall. You go to the ATM where you deposit and withdraw. Let's introduce that system because when we go bank, when we take that cash, uh, the guys in the banking sector, they're the ones who are part of the cor corruption. And the guys inside the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, uh, bank surveillance, when uh, we audit, when we security, when we financial intelligence unit, those are your criminals, the deputy governors, the biggest criminals in, in the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. Fix this thing, and you see what I'm talking about. Things are going to work. Internally fix the Reserve Bank. Internally fix the banking sector. Make sure you control cash. And remember, Kuti, eco cash is not a banking account. Your eco cash should only take money as a wallet. You know, you know, they can transact from eco cash. So you mustn't be able to pay your insurance. You mustn't be able to pay your, your, your what do you call these things that they're paying now? Eco sure. Uh, you mustn't be able to pay a time from there. That is not what uh, eco cash does. Eco cash is a wallet, and that is where the problem is, because currently when we go to Zimbabwe, they don't know how much money is in the system. They don't know how much is in inbox. They don't know how much is in eco cash. They don't know how much is in the banking accounts. After all those crazy interest rates, uh, and they don't know how much. Is in bank accounts. So, Bijan must listen to people and must control money. Mari Inofana Kunetsa Kuana. Mari Inofana Kuana Rakuvan. At the moment, Mari Kuana Rakuvan was Shoma. So, a few people in the banking sector, a few people in government, a few people at these big, big companies, who, who, there's no control. So, Munaru Ikokesh, I'm not going to program. I'm not going to say X equals to 50,000. Ombo withdraw 50,000 yaki. You don't have access to that system. And this was a problem before. The Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe has had it. The past, they've had to confiscate the servers. It's my company. Because that is where the problem is. Mari ino for And Mari kana mwana kai bata. Because you know, mwana kaka poa kana wati 100. CW kani bata kwa ah, kandra wako. You see problem in Zimbabwe. Because I must go now. Control a Mari. 
entiterera kana muchuzwa vana mushaya vanhu musawo mise msoro samangunja so i want to look at the newspapers uh, let's see kuti herald rap publish here if they haven't published i'll move on to other things uh, so no herald newspaper uh, let's see if there's h metro newspaper uh h metro newspaper ichi chi newspaper chino nakidza chi newspaper icho icho chi h metro kana ndi chiverega h metro sometimes i, I laugh because my story is robada momo <laughs> very funny uh, okay so there's no h metro there's no chronicle there is no uh chi at the moment there's only newsday uh kana mjida kuona newspaper ribo newspaper non newsday they do a good job uh, you can also subscribe to that newspaper uh, newspaper ramnangaba iroro so let's go to the comments and uh, let's see what else is being said here um morning ray morning nyaradzi uh, morning david morning masuku and morning to gary mkoma ms is saying why will the banks refuse to issue the new currency if available in the banks given a check record i don't believe this and you need to verify this story for myself yes mkoma and i pakanzi news day munotarisa and i futi munotarisa kuti why vari kutadza kubudisa mari i want to give you what has happened the zimbabwe stock exchange has already changed to zig ava vana kuti meta problem eh nasa iri kuchinja to zig the people that are refusing are the banks the banks have, have changed only nmb has changed the other banks are saying they're still changing so okay now bank mark you can log in <laughs> all the other banks except nmb and eco cash has changed to to the new zig but you can't transact i tried to buy eight times yesterday ne zig and i can't buy the reason is vaka chinja to zig what is coming next is going to result in a very big problem for these banks uh, these banks have been making massive money from my interest rates kuma 120% vachi charge vanhu ma fees anochikisa and at the same time uh, what they've been doing is they've been transacting on the black market so vamwe vachi vakagara ni station stage of cash ndio vane ma runners ari kufamba maharare so the zig what is going to do if mshavan does what i'm saying here it's going to take away all these things that are happening free cash and free easy cash is going to go away and you are going to see kuti mari ichatanga kunetsa kungobata uchitshandisa se se paper in toilet iko zvine zvi vanhu vari muma bank vari kushandisa paper re, re cash eh ukatosuka mu room zavo vamwe vakatoisa mari dzavakanganwa muma drawers so the banks are the problem <laughs> so that, that is why i'm saying kuti they are refusing to make that change but guys the change is coming that that zig is going to come and it's going to have problems but if you follow what i said here clean up inside the reserve bank the problem is inside the reserve bank clean up to down bona wana chi fire i want to see all those uh, deputy governors fired the senior managers shuffled them around umwe ari ku audit omtora omisa ku risk ari ku risk omtora omisa audit otora uyu ari ku surveillance omisa ku fiu otora ku fiu omisa ku ku surveillance eh otora to come now to 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 no gara ku pa door pe 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 ma safe up kuti tora sa ku mberi ku door that is what you need to do and don't think kuti vanhu vari mu reserve bank they like the new governor they don't they used to this mangunja behavior for 10 years so they don't want the new governor let's get the money cleaned up and then go to the banking sector and clean up the banking sector don't allow them to handle cash mari ino fara kubuda ichi va force it you end up atm vanhu withdraw mari or deposit a foot in atm like what is happening in south africa so that vanhu no bata cash kana munaita bau withdraw ino vaito aito trigger ku reserve bank kuti uyu mkuru anza ni junior atora 50000 kana kuti mchango atora 50000 and when you catch such people don't just name and shame them Toda kuba ona vachisungwa eh ukaenda pa gambago.com oti rbz his court uh, forex uh, whatever uh, uh, traders manguji was producing these lists everyone were reading black market and he wasn't doing anything about it because it was part of the the trade then similarly we want this interbank market to work so zvandu kutaura pana pa even gogo wangu ari kumusha kuma misha she understand what i'm saying take that interbank market 
make sure it works. If you do this for six months, Kazig, Karot Chizig, no one does see about the Chizig, no one out Zig. Because you know, it's pretty Chizig. Because Chizig is a problem. I such a Gazirwa. Right. Then Koma Vita says, Did you listen to Gono's comment on the Zig money? Uh, I haven't listened to Koma and Dakaona, old comments are Gono. But Gono and Diemu Nagakon is a problem. And then Koma Majoni Muruda Marienu, and Naka promise up an upper 50 billion. And Nagatin to Tumirane Inonzi, Korea. So some people have been calling me one of those monies. It's not cash. I'll give you your note, your bank note, go <laughs> to Korea. So Mondu uh, Zawuti, what is it? And then let's go to uh, other things. Ngoma Julia says, today you're on point, homeboy. Let's talk uh, separate politics from our currency. It comes back with media. And Ngoma Julia, Zayavan, Vamnangaba, Kutivarag Zuzama, Varachano Yang. E vanwa i dine zuro wakazama uvara channel yangu. Uh, and wakavara channel, I'm going to fly to Zimbabwe and I'm going to come to Mnangabwa's office. E, Ndu taura kuti vanu wako wavara channel yangu. <laughs> Thedi tona kuti mneita si. Ndu nozi hita izozo. E, Msuwa omnu za mako vara channel yangu. Jakari, mkoma MS vanu avaro za mavara channel yangu. Vezano. Uh, so we don't want it. You must be open uh, to, to these discussions that we're having. You may not like it. You may not like the test, but enjoy it. In those later media, is also. Then Mkoma Gerard said, "So, how else can you communicate your suggestions to Mshavan?" Yes, Panaba Patukutaora, Mshavan is listening. I know Mshavan watches here. Uh, you'll be surprised the kind of people who call me after I do these things. Vanwarim zanu, vanwarim sisi, vanwarim government, mbava, nima gororo. <laughs> they call me here. Ni mangu yo matko mangu ariku security. Kuma soja, kuma purisa, kuma CIO. Vese ndo tawara na opana haba matko mangu. Apana zinga tawari nini? Pano. E, chasara kuti ndi mirire wikineo. Ndi asara pana hapa kuti ati. Go and see Victor. But azano uh, andipindi. Then let's go to Joy says. Edward Z should check account holders with big monies please. Uh, this one is a given. Pani inonzi anti-money laundering. AML. Uh, and this is what you Zimbabwe, why you have to vomit as well. Guys, our money must be strong and we must respect our reserve bank. Uh, is in those who get out here, we square we have to every day. You must respect her for what she's been doing. Uh, she's doing what I call God's work. Arugita uh, Basaramari ever since Pakapina Mangunja. Achim Sanangura, Mangunja, it's so. Mangunja, it's so. Mangoja ingoti, gejge, gejge. <laughs> Every day. I'm dara wa ya ndiaga konzera problem hii. Then let's go to tapiwa odwe. Brother Gamba kujiri say, I know remera, I know remera wa nchamisa. Jesu za, jaka dakwa izi. Sana ifi, yaka simza economy. Yes, I agree. Uh, but I think chamisa wants dialogue. Chamisa doesn't want people to suffer. Chamisa doesn't want the currency to drop so that it goes into office. Manu anu ene sandewe zanu. Avanzu gizizi. Manu funga kuti, kana tichiti gazire currency tukuwa atuka. And in total, the come out of Panapa, especially about intelligence. A Musa support is a war, especially the currents because no fun in Zara. So, that got the Mariedu, it is strong. Can I mention of Zambia? I am proud to go to Zambia. Do you want to go to the territory? Muna, she is strategic, she is cheaper sandage. I just walk to the hotel lobby. Panama ATM apps are chichi ndo withdraw. Maria ngo do pinda bank mumuni mukatu. Ndo tora from a South African bank. Ndo depositor. Ndo ndo pinda moto mangu. And everything's working. Let's work on making our reserve bank work. Chizig. Ndo nzo tanga wachi respect akana mshawa na kaita shonda taora. Kuti chizig atingo wani ki pesa pesa. Chino fara wani kam ATM chete. Force those big banks. To buy those ATMs that dispense and deposit cash, and make it a rule. A rule. So not only two days, I could the ATM is those those pin them Zimbabwe, and then if my US dollar ATMs, and put this a cash in my US dollar, that's right. The road, check with them. Blawayo, check out Victoria Falls. So that one, what family is going to go? Notice the Jasako. So put it. Take a drama photo. A hundred and sixty kilometer. Sako, I know that our nature voice is very soft, but I thought I was not bad. Mom was there. Sako. Uh, we, we Barbara West, uh, Barbara, I don't go to Amai, Amai. We want someone are firm. I know Tawra Kuti, in the tourism minister, 
Kapakazwe. So 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 so. Then you know Borwa that a first few days, kana majita ora. But after a few days, things are going to work. That's what we want. We don't want the man. We don't government. Kuti wafeke zuma uniform zee. Zee zee new uniform yeah, government is and talk nonsense. We want actual solutions. Kana mnanga ba timu zauti road ina ga zero. Atsuku nyeba. The road is not fixed. In Magazona is zero. Victoria Falls Road, not fixed. Uh, Blawayo, uh, Bed Bridge. If you travel there after six, you will die. It's a given. And then Harare to to, to Bed Bridge. That section between Bed Bridge and Mashingo. If you travel there at night, the dust is going to kill you. Yeah. There are certain sections that are not fixed, similar to just before Harare. The sections that are not fixed. This current issue is a serious issue. Everyone is wanting to get this fixed. Uh, but but they need to understand Kuti. Kanati Dila ni reserve bank. At Sula Kutamba ni reserve bank. Waka Gazra Papa Zurukuti Vanu Vanu win. Ayo. Kanati Vanu Chami Zavacha loser. Ayo. Everyone must work on getting the reserve bank right. Politics. Zoita politics. Marieta Mari. So Zosiana. At Tiduzi Batani. Kanati Sangani. And in Indukasa Oxka was Mbabu Zakanaka. Manskoma Angu Tofarana Munafe Street. Zakanaka. So Mkoma James is your last comment is. Now you are making sense, commenting about current with your banking background. Diko kuako politics tira mada chama. Inini diko kuese. Gamba ku is there is almost nothing that you cannot uh, discuss with me because I've got what is called the master of business leadership. Ukando na diki shanda mu IT. Ndaka garani vanu IT. Unoto kanga na wote ndi gamba ku uyo because ndi not say mora kana programming chayo yo ndi nokurovera. Ndaka inda ku America. Ndika garani wano yuko Amerika. Waranga waka zara pa bodrum. Kana tuwari 20. Ndiri munu mtema. Waka hatanga kuti. Apo ya munu mtema. Pana parekati mboita hidu ziku mwa kofi. After 20 minutes. Waka watu chaita zuma kofi zuawo. Zuyese. Because ndanda shika niji watu sana ngurira. So nasty ya ya. Yaka penga. I always tell people that someone who went to school at nasty. He's got a lot of knowledge. And it's international. Young Zimbabweans you've got a lot of knowledge. You are able to do a lot. You are able to create things. Things that we are doing here, like this broadcasting. You should have more viewers than ZBC. ZBC is a CEO, a senior manager. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. So that's why I am saying that. Vano, vano buna ma universities, vano ziwa. And inini, and this economist, but musha vano, naka terira inini, zandu kutawara story nani, vano kutirira vano vake, imbava zemu arabizet, vano waka jarakuba mari, for the past 20 years. Vano utika na wakawana muna, jipinda mbava, vano yirigiza, jipinda mubengre nyika, national bank, inu vumira mbava, mkati. So, those are the kind of things that I'm talking, kuti, if Mushavan is serious, by December, Tinekta Utah was really different. And Muzi Mnangaba Kutavanovake, Varuza Mavara Chano Yangu, Gava Zurege, Izozo, Atizidi. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. And I really appreciate everything that you are doing here, supporting us. Kambaku Media is yet the best month ever. And I hope that we'll be able to eventually have our head office in Harare. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. And a good day to you all.